Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Wolf Blue, and I'm back with another Roblox video. And as you guys can see, um, I'm live with the face cam. Uh, right now we are live. Uh, everyone say hi, chat. Hey, hey, say hi. Stream delay. Hold on. Hold on. Stream delay. Okay. Hey, baby girl. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, um, today we will be making slot cars. Okay. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a slot car from scratch. And um, I'm going to be teaching them live as well, okay? So, there is a Discord server I use to make my slot cars, which is Satoru Cars Parts Library. And basically, um, I'm going to put the link in the description and also in the chat. So, everyone join this. It's very good. Uh, server invite link. I can edit the video if you want. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. I just... Yeah. I just upload it as is. Okay. Now, after you go and join this Discord, you want to scroll down and you want to look at JDM cars. So, boom. As you guys can see, bunch of freaking models that are free. Don't mind my little brother. He is just overly loud for no reason. I feel like making a nice little Mazda Miata right now. Not gonna lie. So, alright, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing like two examples of what can be happening. So there will be a there will be cars with a chassis, which um a chassis is hold on. A chassis is the part you drive. I think this is only the body. This might only be the body. And the chat, the test. If it has a chassis, you play, you play test. And you go over here. And then if you could drive it, that means it has a chassis already. So as you can see, this Miata has a chassis. And let's say, for example, you wanted just the body of the car because that's all they had right so let me find an example real quick um like this rx7 doesn't have a chassis because there's no wheels there get model all right so boom your rx7 chassis your beloved rx7 does not have freaking a chassis you can't drive it all right and you're like, yo, well, like, well, what, what, are, what am I gonna do, right? Um, so basically, you're gonna go to the creator store. You're gonna look up a chassis. Boom! First, ex uh, first one. Click it, and there you go. You got your chassis. Now you're like, uh, well, they're both separate. Um, yeah, that might be a little issue. Do I know how to do that? No. Just kidding. I do know how to do that. So, you see this nipple? This nipple is where you're facing. So right now, if I were to sit in the seat right now, I'd be facing this way. If I was, if the nipple is going this way, and I sit in the seat, I would face this way. So make sure the nipple is core lined, cor corresponding to the car. Okay. Oh, my mouth is mad dry. Okay. Now. You're going to want to hit home, go to your move tool, right? And you want to uh, uh, shuffle the car onto the chassis. Now, the way I center it is by um, how much wheel is showing. So, there's more wheel showing on this side than the other so i'm gonna shift it slightly to the right shift it slightly to the right and boom uh, centered enough now what i like to do is adjust so this rear wheel is in the middle of the wheel well as you can see and sometimes the front is going to be off so what i do is i hold alt I click the black wheel and it's going to highlight front left and front 
it's gonna highlight uh, whatever wheel you click and I adjust the uh, FL and FR which is front left front right and I just scoot it over towards the middle right here now if we were to run this game the body is still not connected okay um, as you can see yeah uh, well it's it's not connected see there you go it's not so basically you're gonna want to click this body see where it is on the Explorer tab and take note of what your chassis is called it's probably gonna be called a chassis 6c and you see this body group right here you're gonna want to grab the arc set well the body of your car and drag it into body drag it into body make sure it's inside and now if you play how can I make cars work after I added new wheels to it? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. And now if we go in the game, the chassis will move with the body of the car like that. There we go. So boom, bam. Now you're like, bro, wolf. <laughs> I need, I need some wheels on this Johnson, man. Like, like hook me up, bro. I got you. Okay. So. Explain how to lower cars too. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. It's all gonna be, all gonna be uh, explained. So, in the certificate cars and parts library, there is a section called wheels, and go into what wheels you like. This is my slot car. All right, go into what wheels you like. Um, let's see. I know there's a wheel pack in con server, but like I'm too lazy to go in there. Let's see what wheels I want. Uh, some some JDM wheels. Um, what? Bro, what wheels do I want to rock? Wheel packs? Oh yeah, give me this. BSKFs. BSKFs. Oh, three two. Oh, dude, three two six power. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, am I am I dick riding? Am I dick riding a uh, three two six? All right. So these are the wheels I've uh, chosen for this tutorial specifically. So now you're like, yo, it don't it don't got uh it don't got freaking um it don't got the uh, tire on it. Now you're going to have to get a uh, tire model, which tires, and there's this really specific tire I get. Pretty sure it's this. And you just import the tire. Well, uh, TE37s. Put on TEs. Oh, I mean, TEs are basic, bruh. Anyways, that's besides the point. All right, so now you have your wheel and your tire. So what I like to do, what I like to do is you go ahead here. You put your wheel up to the car. Now, obviously, this is way too small, so... I'm actually going to resize it. Sometimes it'll move weird. It'll be like, it'll resize one way to fix that. Just hold alt and resize it. And that looks maybe a little bigger. That looks about. That looks about good. Yeah. So, after that, you're like, how do I get this tire on? Because if you try to, like, drag the tire on, and it's going to, like, move freaking wobby. Wobby? Wobbly. And that's just no good, right? So, what you want to do is click on the wheel. And then, in properties, 
it's gonna say transform and you wanna wa you're gonna wanna copy the position and then copy the position onto the tire too well if you need a stream deck for real I really do I don't have money for a stream deck though now it might spawn like over here depending on what origin it is but yeah um so I think this wheel might just be I mean not wheel tire might just be perfect you could also resize the tire so it fits the wheel like, like so I think it has to be a bit smaller but whenever you resize this is really important copy the position back because it'll change it'll change position when you uh resize so that is very important Show that turret. Show that turret. to remember um i can mess with that and once you're done you want to highlight both of them and hit Control g to freaking group it all together boom okay now time to mount the wheels onto the v so this is gonna be a little bit hard not really it's just really annoying honestly not even hard so what i like to do is duplicate them by Control d and put them on all four like position them near and make sure you rotate them so they're in the correct spot I just want to know how to lower and run tilt. Yeah, I got you. I got you. This is a full tutorial. Okay. So, what you do is you hold Alt. Click on the uh, wheel. Copy the position. Click on the wheel you want to put on. Copy the position into the wheel you're putting on. So, it goes like that. After the wheel is inside, you drag it to wherever it is so for example this is front left this is front right front i mean front left front right deer left bro what do i throw at him hold on okay so front left front right rear left rear right okay so as you can see, we our highlighted wheel that we just put on is on the front left. So you're gonna wanna drag whatever is highlighted in Explorer and drag it into parts. So whatever moves goes in parts. For example, uh, brake rotors, they move with the wheel. Your wheels move with the wheel, but your brake calipers will go into um, wheel fixed wheel fix basically means it doesn't move okay so now you want to repeat the process to every single wheel which is just annoying but it is what it is so boom copy position drag it into the corresponding freaking wheel boom hold alt click position position Rear right, parts, boom. And then rear left, copy position. And boom. Now, um, a telltale sign that you did this wrong, I'm gonna show an example, is um, let's say you accidentally put the rear left wheel in rear right. Uh, I mean, not rear right, in uh, front left, okay? Let's let let's say for example I did that mistake, okay? You're like Yeah, so this is what happens. Your wheel will end up up there moving with the front left tire. And that's just that's just no good. Um so yeah. Make sure your wheels are in the corresponding things. And you won't have any problems like this. Hopefully. Please fucking work. Please work, bro. Please work. Please work. Yo, how do I open that menu on the right? Again, I close it. Uh, go to view. And hit explorer properties, toolbox, and command bar. Actually, you don't have to do command bar. That's just something I have up. 
But there you go. The car drives. I don't know why it's so wiggly and bouncy. Pause. But uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. These sometimes um, are collidable. So yeah, so it says can collide. Make sure to make sure, make sure all your wheel parts can collide are off. Same with the body. You don't want collisions on for that. So I have to go back in every single wheel. I mean, every single tire. And turn off can collide. So uh, don't make my mistake. How much for your blue infinity sedan? Do you want to buy it, bro? I promise it's nothing special. Alright. Let me see if it stopped doing the bouncing thing. What is the shader you use? Um, block strap. There you go. It don't do the bouncing no more. Yo, this slides. Sark 7 is looking far. All right. Now you're like, hey, well, you know, my car looking, my car looking great, man. Um, Yeah, man. But like, I want, I want to, I want to be a stance boy, you know, I got you twin. Okay. I got you. Oh, by the way, if you want to lower or raise cars, highlight the body, go to home, go to move. And go up or down on the body. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna try to get Fender to lip, and I'll teach you guys how to do it. It's mine, bro. I know it's yours, but it looks so good, bro. I'm gonna have to make one myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you adjust ride height. You could also do it in a script, which is more realistic, but. I do it the easy way and do it through body. Now, how do you get tilt? Uh, double click H I C tune and you're going to be greeted with a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Don't worry. It's nothing complicated. It's just text. Okay. So as you can see, tune dot F camber, which means front camber. You could do whatever thing you want. So if you want 90 degree camber, you could do that. Um, I actually want to see what this looks like. So input this, you don't have to hit enter, you don't have to do anything, just input it. Go back to your uh, base plate tab. And instead of play here, hit run. And that will run the game, it will run all the scripts. <laughs> Yo chat, am I, am I, am I static game? Holy hovercraft. Okay, that's a real hovercraft guys. All right. Um, don't do neg negative ninety. Um, okay. So I forgot to mention this. You so you see this black, like fake wheel we have. To get rid of it, um, you highlight all of these by holding Shift and clicking each one. And you go to transparency and you, s like, put that bitch all the way up, and then it'll all be gone. As you can see, boom, it's all gone. Um, I'll do brake calipers and brake rotors in another live. Um, unless you guys want it now. Honestly, I don't feel like doing it now. Because I'm annoying. I mean, you said this yet? But hold all to select parts. Yeah. So if you want to like select a certain part, this goes for slot building, uh, map building, anything. Hold all... And you could specifically hit a part inside of the model, as you guys can see. Boom. Like, you could... Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. But, yeah. That's how you do that. I put two surprises in your... Oh, God. Fucking Lord have mercy. All right. So, I'm going to actually do negative nine degrees of camber. Nothing... Actually, four degrees in the front, two degrees in the rear. And let's see what this looks like. How do you like go back? What do you mean? 
Oh, that, that, that's weak. Oh, yo, that's weak. That's weak tilt, bro. That's weak tilt. I'm going eight. And I'm going um 10 in the front. That's weak. That clipping is insane. Don't worry. Okay. So, obviously, I have to raise the car a bit. And a little bit of offset could fix this. And I'll show you guys how to do some offset. Um, my car body has to get moved to the right because there's more tire showing than this side. So we'll fix that as well. So again, to fix the body issue, you go, you hit body and just move it whatever direction you have to move it. Now, for the wheels, you want to highlight it. And make sure you have a set movement thing. If you don't, you might mess everything up, okay? So go to home. I mean, go to model. And move. Set it to how much you think you need to move. I think I have to move like 0 .005. Yeah, it seems about right. And you want to go to home. Move. Select the tire you want to move. And watch the number here. Point zero one, point zero one, point two, point point zero two five. All right. Remember this number. It's very important. You remember it. Now you go over here and you do the same thing. And it didn't go on it specifically, but there you go. So hopefully this fixes it. Um, I do have to raise the car up, so I'm gonna just raise it a bit, like about that much. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And how I raise it is by clicking body once again. Control Z, um, you can undo with Control Z. By the way, yeah, that fitment's pretty good. I could probably go lower, but oh my god, front fitment's actually tight. <gasps> Yo, oh, are you serious, bro? Are you serious, bro? Oh my god, bro. Are you serious, bro? <coughs> okay. What side was that on? This side? So I have to move the body left a little bit. Okay. Um, so this is like the finicky part about fitment. It's really hard to get fitment, like really good with slot cars. Still clipping. Now I'm clipping on both sides. Yo, we lost. Oh my God, bro, you serious, bro? All right, what if I just like move the wheel in? Run. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh oh no. Oh no. Why? 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 Don't ban me. Child, I'm banning him. Um, I'm gonna actually double side these wheels here. You guys don't really have to worry about that. Oh, they are. What the heck? Okay. Ah. Uh, the body is just like off by a hair.
please be good, bro. Please. Please. Please, bro. What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. We adjusted it too much. Oh, we touched it too much. Oh, we touched it too much. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. Yup. Okay, good. The rear could probably go down a little bit more, but honestly, I'm not even going to bother. Actually. Okay. So, to adjust certain, um, like, say you want the back to be a little bit lower, go into your script. Go to HIC tune. Go to rear suspension stiffness. And if you want to lower it, bring this number down. I'm going to go 17,000 and run. It should be a little bit lower. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's tight. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yep, that's good. Okay. So, there you go. There's that. So, as you guys can see, this paint is looking a little ugly because it's not smooth plastic so in order to make it smooth plastic hold your alt button hold shift so you can select multiple parts at the same time um go like that select all the parts make sure all the paintable parts are clicked my keyboard just switched to germany i mean german and all right there you go so everything is on plastic make sure it's on smooth plastic oh this door is not okay smooth plastic and there you go your paint is mad smooth mad nice uh usually a smart idea is to select all of these again don't hold on Select all of your parts again. And a good idea to be organized and be a good person is hold control and do G. And then now all your paint parts are in the same thing as shown here. Now, um, I'm actually going to put speckle onto it i'm just gonna take this take that from another model there's many tutorials in the discord group i listed in the description so make sure to go into there see how things are done oh wait there isn't there isn't but there is another discord it's called rcc something something and i'm just gonna paste into select it so all the parts have the uh good old sparkle and look good So, boom. There you go. Paint. Looking spiffy. There we go. Paint is looking nice and sparkly right there. Uh, the other Discord, I'll put it in chat and I'll put it in the description of this video. So, yeah. There you go. There is that Discord. And there we go. Your slot car is done. Of course, there are many other things you can do, but this is a basic tutorial. Well, we need you right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you guys do? And there you go, bro. You now have your lovely slot car. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, someone probably ruined something in the map. And I have to go uh, tune in. All right. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.